Hi, and welcome to this episode of Tools, Tips, and Tricks. Tech, tech, crap, start that again. Tools, Techniques, Tips, and Tricks. <clears throat> Why'd I make that so hard? Hello, and welcome back to another Tools, Techniques, Tips, and Tricks. Today I have for you a wonderful product that I found on Amazon. It's called Tub O' Towels. And um, this is great for using on your everyday uses on the tractor. I mean, they're degreasing wipes more or less, but you can use them for just about anything. And the reason I'm doing this today is because I need to actually wipe down the back blade and get it ready for paint. It's been a few days since I finished that project and it really needs a coat of paint. So it's starting to get a little rusty. So there might be some dirt and some some grease and stuff on there so i'm going to take these towels and i'm going to wipe that thing down and get it ready to be shot with primer so these are really great i keep one of these tubs in the in the tractor uh, and one in the in the shop um, just for everyday things i mean you can use it on your hands it actually has uh, some aloe in it so it helps your hands stay soft uh, but i'm going to show you on the, i got some grease right here on the uh, table I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up and show you just how well these work. The active ingredient in these is actually dlamaline, which is found in uh, the peels of citrus. And it's got a, a very orangey kind of scent to it. So it's pleasant to smell. It doesn't smell chemically and everything. You can see right there, it wiped that right up. So another use I actually keep this in the tractor for is wiping down the hydraulic connections before I connect them. Um, it does dry to it doesn't leave any chemical residue or anything like that. I also use it to wipe down the, the zerks uh, before greasing anything. You don't want to be shoving a lot of dirt and grime and stuff that might be on the outside of your grease zerk into your joint. So I just take uh, a rag and, and go around and wipe down all the grease zerks before, before greasing. And that allows a little bit of time to, to dry uh, because I, I don't want to be pumping glamaline into the grease joint either. A degreaser so um, dlamaline is also found i believe in gojo hand cleaners and you can use this stuff like i said to wipe down your hands to wipe down new surfaces um parts preparing preparing it for for uh for cleaning or for painting rather um and it's just really good good wipes and so i'll i use these to wipe off my hands instead of using gojo or something like that it's a little bit more expensive um and then i just toss the toss the towel uh, and it doesn't leave a, a oily residue on my hands. It feels great. Please check it out. Use the links in the description. Um, those are uh, Amazon affiliate links. I do get a small kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps our channel out. Uh, also, please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, that also helps YouTube algorithm um, make it to where my channel is actually found by other people looking for this information. So let's head over to the back blade. I'm gonna wipe this thing down really quick and I'm gonna shoot it with some spray paint. Well, as you can see here, it's starting to get a little bit of surface rust. Uh, the welds are kind of rusty. This has always been rusty and I got some special spray paint I'm gonna use on that stuff. Um, but I kind of want to just wipe this down. You can see it's got some dirt and some grime on there. And if I spray paint that, this paint's not gonna stick as well. So I'm gonna use this tub of towels and I'm gonna just wipe this thing down really quick before just shooting it. I'm not an artist. I'm not, you know, going for looks or anything. It's, it's farm equipment, right? So all I'm looking to do is get some, some paint on here to protect it so it doesn't just rust out. By the way, these are like 10 by 12 inch sheets and they are, they're soaked. I mean, they're really wet. You'll see it here in a second. I'm just gonna wipe this down really good. I'm gonna just pull the pin out, get around that weld really good. I'm not too worried about the surface rust already forming on this. It's just a. I should have done it when I was when it was finished over at the shop, but I was running out of time and. Time's always a constant battle. And you start to see it, it doesn't dry like brake clean or anything like that. Uh, it, it takes it a few minutes, 
but it will dry. And when it does, it leaves a, a great finish. The blades a little bit, get over here. So as you can see, I mean, you just collect up all the dirt, grease, oils. And you can see it's starting to dry. It doesn't take very long. I didn't do it at the top of the nut here. You know, I'm not gonna worry about degreasing the back of the blade here. Um, I, may gonna, I am going to paint it. Uh, I'm just not gonna wipe it down. It really needs to be like sandblasted or something. So we're gonna let that dry just for a little bit. And we'll come back when it's ready to shoot with paint. 